I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, and I no longer required sleep. No use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Butterfly? Huh? What's going on? I guess, are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. Agus, we need you! Has something happened? It's not... another enemy, is it? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge! Understood. Come to think of it, the day my dream stopped... That must have been when the incident actually began. Huh? What's this? Everyone! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. A shadow? No, this is... It can't be. The same model as me? Your... I guess? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Yes, for now. I need you to provide backup for Igis. Alright. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them! 
then I have no choice. For your sake, I'll have to force you to back down. You must stand aside. <laughs> Oops. This way, this. will be removed. Yeah. 
happen? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a very rare guest indeed. Are you a simulacrum or in fact human? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Simulacron. No, that makes sense. Who are you? Ah, oh, forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is Elizabeth, my assistant. We reside in this velvet room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. A room for those who have forged a contract. Yes, in awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. From this moment forth, you are our guest in the Velvet Room. Wait, wait, wait. Is this because she borrowed something she didn't have? Is that what? Is that what? Is that what this all is? Is that why? Ugh. Wild card? Surely you know of which I speak. The ability to hold multiple personas and wield their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. You... know of him? Indeed I do. He achieved a marvelous thing. Reaching the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. This answer, if I reach it, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer, and they reach it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Well, I shouldn't keep you here any longer. The beginning of your ordeal awaits. Feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is... death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me.
Hi. Whew, she woke up. You really scared us. Collapsing like that. You carry some. I came because Mitsuru Senpai called for me just in case. And I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That strange girl said, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. Guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. What do you gotta bust things up like that for? I mean, today's my turn to clean the place. Hey. Quit with the silent treatment and say something. Mm. Huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It's just... I was tired after going into orgia mode. Oh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. Trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which, if she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. Bring 
and non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. As you can see, you and I are practically siblings. And as for my purpose, it's simply to save you, my only sister, from this hopeless situation. Hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep anyway? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow. And all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it? The moment when time skipped? Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then... Are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. That makes two ways we're trapped here. No. But why? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Hey! Who elected you mayor? Shut up, Ikari. Who cares what you have to say? of time. It's an uncharted territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? I'm not sure I can explain it, but the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. 
eliminating all of you. The abyss of time connected to the storm as it's drawn to it. That together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We... We've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the abyss. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Aegis. Wait, is this a joke? No, totally, that's it. Nailed it, Yukari. Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! <laughs> If the current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive, but you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Aegis, but what's in it for you? In it? <sighs> I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister! About that, your claim doesn't fit the fact. Aegis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterward. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. That bothers me. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Aegis? That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Cause if you're stringing us along, we're not gonna let you get away with it. about me. What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you there's no time to waste. Now follow me. Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. 
But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <sighs> you can't possibly... I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. Well, we don't have to go that far. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. Please don't leave me. <sighs> Come on, it's, it's it's too late to get all weak. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisa. Well, senpai. Do we take her along or not? Because <sighs> if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over. And I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san... If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared, and suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her, how would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? For going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. 
Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I promise to listen to what you say. So... Could I call you sister? Go right ahead. Oopsies.
Oh Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 